So before we begin, we need to download the operating system where we're going to install this software onto. It needs to be a Linux operating system, and you have many choices with that, but in this case, I'm going to stick with the software that's a little bit easier to use. Um, it's the operating system called Debian. So if you go to Google and just type in debian.org, it will take you to the website for uh, the Debian operating system. You can just click on download, and it will download the image to your computer. So once it's finished downloading, we can start loading it onto the hypervisor. In this case, we're going to be using VirtualBox. If you want to, you probably want to use something like uh, Hyper-V or VMware if you're doing a server installation, but for this demonstration, we're just going to use VirtualBox. So I'm going to open up VirtualBox from my computer. I'm doing this on a Linux operating system, so uh, it'll be a little bit different if you do it on a Windows or Mac, but eventually you should end up with a window here for VirtualBox. So what we want to do now is make a new virtual machine, and then we're going to call this Mirth. And from here, I'm going to set the type as Linux and the version as Debian 64-bit. Click Next. As for the memory size, I would say about two gigabytes is okay. If you can do that, one gigabyte should also probably work, but let's leave it as two gigs for now. And we want to create a virtual hard disk. Make sure that the center option is selected and hit Create. We want to leave it as VDI for the type of hard disk. Make sure it's dynamically allocated. And I'm gonna set it to 10 gigabytes. And click Create. At this point, it's created the virtual machine, the empty virtual machine. Uh, we still have a couple things to change before we start it. Uh, so go ahead and right-click on it and hit Settings. It'll bring up this window. You want to go down to Network and switch it from NAT to Bridged Adapter. And what that'll do is it will take the virtual machine's interface, network interface, and attach itself to your host computer's interface. So it's able to be accessed from the external network, which is what we want, because we want the Welsh Allens to be able to talk to this virtual machine. Next, we want to go to Storage, and under ID, Controller IDE, click on Empty, and then click on the icon over here, and select Choose Virtual Disk. From here, we want to Add, and we want to add our Debian 10 image, Click Open, click Choose, click OK. So now just make sure everything looks OK. We have the optical drive set up as Debian 10, and everything looks all right. We can go ahead and, and click on Start. This will start the Debian virtual machine. And we want to go ahead and just press Enter when it says Graphical Install. and we'll begin loading. Now we can begin the process of installing it. So for language, I'm just gonna leave it as English. And for location, I'm just gonna leave it as United States. I'm going to select American English as the keyboard layout. Now for the host name, I'm just going to type in Mirth and press enter. Domain name we can leave blank. And we will need to enter in a root password. Unix require, usually requires you to have a password of some type, so I'm just going to enter in a relatively short password. Uh, this is not a secure machine, but if you were to make a secure machine, you'd want to make sure that this was a, a good password. Um, now for the user account, we want to name it Mirth and just hit enter again for the username and just enter in a password for the mirth account and for the clock i'm going to leave it as eastern and now this is the more tricky part this is this is the partitioning and there's a dozen ways you can partition a drive 
well, virtually infinite ways you can partition a drive, but we want to just use the simplest we can. So I'm just going to use guided use entire disk. And it's going to automatically detect that we have this attached to our virtual machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. And for this, I'm going to leave it as leave all files in one partition. So we don't want to mess with the other stuff right now. And from here, we want to just have make sure that select or finish partition, partitioning and write changes to disk is selected and click continue. And it's going to ask you again if you want to make sure you want to do this and click yes and then continue. And from this point, it will partition the drives and install the operating system, which will take a while. So I'll come back to this when it gets to a stopping point. Okay, so after a while, it comes up with this. We want to continue and just add, add additional things onto the package manager. We don't want to, so just leave it selected as no. Click continue. And we want to configure the package manager. Just leave it as United States. You can leave it as the default mirror for the manager. No proxy. Just click, leave it blank and click continue. And this will start downloading some packages and some other stuff. So this will take a little bit and I'll come back to it. Okay, so now it's asking if we want to do the popularity contest. That's not what it sounds like. It just means it's, it tr keeps track of what packages are used the most. Um, just select no and continue. Now for this part, you have several options you can go through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect Debian desktop environment. We want this to be a headless computer, headless server. We want to deselect print server and select SSH server and leave standard system utilities selected. And click continue. So now it's going to ask us if we want to install Grub as the bootloader. So click yes. And we want to select our hard disk here and click continue. Okay, so now it's saying the installation is complete. We can just click continue. And we'll reboot with the Grub bootloader. And then it will start our uh, Debian operating system. And that's ready to go.